Greetings. I am Ben Oni Haran, the restorer of past to dwell. This is till the soil, bury the creep. Opening cry, Matthew 12 and 28. But if I cast out devils by the Spirit of God, then the kingdom of God is come unto you. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. If we cast out the devil, then the kingdom of God will come unto us. Abba Father is the ruler of all including the devil, his adversary. As people of God, we have the power over Satan. Satan has many names, strange gods, liars, false prophets, the dragon, the beast, serpent, evil, etc. We shall call the devil the creep. Never capitalize it when written. The power over the creep will increase as the people of God, Abba Israelites, come together as one. The creep is a spirit, therefore you must destroy the creep in your mind by controlling your thoughts. Don't continue negative or evil thoughts and he will flee from you. The creep tells you lies so you will error. Calling him creep takes the power from the serpent. Call him out loudly whenever you encounter the creep in high places like churches and businesses and governments. Call him out when you detect the creep in other people doing evil. When you encounter the creep in someone, point your dominant hand, index finger at him and with your thumb up, rebuke him loudly. Get away from me, you a creep. Tilling the soil, burying the creep. Don't let him in. Call him out by name and he will run away. Let's see Matthew 15, 10 and 11. And I called the multitude and said unto them, Hear and understand, not which goes in the mouth defiles a man, but that which comes out the mouth defiles a man. Let's go to Matthew 1, 16 through 20, and then we're going to jump up to 24. And Jesus said, You are also yet without understanding. You do not yet understand that whoever enters in the mouth goes in the belly and is cast out in the drought. But those things which proceed out of the mouth come forth from the heart, and they defile the man. For out of the heart proceeds evil thoughts, murderers, adulterers, fornication, thieves, false witness, blasphemy. These are the things which defile a man. But to eat with not washed hands doesn't defile a man. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Separate yourself from evil. Let's go to James 4 and 7. Submit yourselves therefore to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Let's go to Matthew 4, 10 and 11. Then Jesus said unto him, You get hence, Satan. For it is written, You shall worship the Lord your God, and him only shall you serve. Then the devil left him. And behold, angels came and ministered unto him. Let's check out 1 Corinthians 10 and 20. But I say that the things which the Gentiles sacrifice to devils, and not you God. And I would not that you should have fellowship with the devils. When you denounce the creep, you will feel immediate joy, relief, empowerment, and comfort. Follow it up by seeking the seven spirits. 
The creep is looking to get you. Your work is to bury the creep. He knows and fears. So the creep tries to destroy your life before you destroy his. He will lie, cheat, steal, and kill. Let's go to Psalms 37, 30 through 32. The mouth of the righteous speak wisdom, and his tongue talks of judgment. The law of his God is in his heart. None of his steps shall slide. The wicked watches the righteous and seeks to slay him. Let's go to 1 Peter 5, 6. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil is a roaring lion, walks about seeking whom he may devour. Let's try Ephesians 4, 22 through 27. That you may put off the concerning former conversations the old man, which was corrupt according to the deceitful lust, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind, and that you may put on a new man after which God has created in righteousness and true holiness. Wherefore, putting away lying, speaking every man truth, and with his neighbor. For we are members of one of another. You be angry and sin not. Let not the sun go down on your wrath. Neither give a place for the devil. Please read israelitesadoption.org 049. Till the soil, bury the creek. 06, 11, till the soil, keep earth. Closing cry, Proverbs 3, 5 through 7. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not into your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will direct your path. Be not wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. Thank you.